One of the great features of New Zealand rugby recently is ex-All Blacks returning home to play the game at provincial level. Today, a slight twist on that. It's a current member of the national squad who will play alongside and against builders, farmers, mechanics, forestry workers and sparkies in the competition that provides the strong, steady pulse of New Zealand rugby. Left, Kane, nice little inside ball. Jeffries on the carry. Trying to get over the top. Whanganui, but they can't. Smith, this is lovely continuity by the Rams. Oh, opportunity going into space there, missed. All under advantage, though. Tapili hooks that one through, and it is the Rams on the board after seven minutes. Oryx continues to look. Whale taking on the line. Dane Whale goes back inside. Jamie Hughes. Oh. Opportunity bomb by the visitors there. They'll play the knock on. Slow ball player trapped in there. Way it comes. Hart, little short ball for Hughes. Horrocks again. Whale. Put it in Bucky. Craig Clear. Malangi Thangi. Has he got that one down? Yes, he has. First try of the match comes to the visitors. Plays on early. Going quickly. Vodasese just going straight ahead. Just galloping through. Too easy. Simi Vodasese with the second try for Whanganui. And it's 10 to 3. Quickly at the line out. Really caught, caught themselves out, to be honest. Horrocks comes left. Hughes tries to get the fin going, does Jamie. Sam Kane over the top trying to snaffle that ball. This one here. Here is Robinson. In front. Nice strike. Extends the Whanganui advantage. Whale. Out it goes to Vakaronga. Wants to cut back inside. It's rid of Kane. Still going. Vakaronga. Kane comes at him again. Has to. Tries to get over that ball. And has turned the ball over. Or was it holding on? Well, he got rid of Sam Kane. Kane had to come back at him. Away they come to Dunster. Looking for the offload to Ross. He cops one there from Horton Hay. Penalty, not rolling away. That's a nice strike. And it's over. 15 to 6. He's going to have to clear. He does so. Back there, Malangi Thangi. Lux decides to go to the outside. He's quick with the chip and chase. Patheli Malangi Thangi, all losing the footing. Joseph Vata Manamole under pressure. As he's swarmed by a bunch of his countrymen. Sitting at the back, Smith. He's going to get some all break protection now in the form of Kane. And Nathaniel Smith with the kick doesn't find touch for clear. Big opportunity out to the right hand side. Vodasese steps and straightens. Then with the offload, sits up nicely. Karen Hussey gets the run in in the far corner. Whanganui try to get over the top. They've done all right. Here's Kane. Ball comes out wide. Tapili. Bit of space here for the Rams. Tapili to the outside. Comes back inside. Now offloads. Mosaki. He gets it away to Savali. Then he offloads as well. Vasaki supporting. Smith. They look to come wide. Here's Tapili. That's Baven Brown beating bodies. Looking on the inside, Jeffries, he's got a run in. He pins the ears back. And the second row forward's going to go in. Right underneath the black dot. 20 to 11, kick to come. I'd like to see him get his hands on the ball. He is a threat. As he steps left foot, left foot. Two would-be tackles, should have taken him. And he'd just draw pass and great support there from Jeffries. And it was a much-needed try. Great hit there as well. Ball struck back and away comes Vodasese. Away they go to Robinson, gets rid of one, Ethan still going. Horrocks, what's the option? It's an inside ball, Galleon, first touch, just short. Whanganui, hunting a bonus point that they desperately need in the Heartland Championship. Wales just going to cruise through. There's the BP for the Butcher Boys. Dane Whale with the try. Here we see, looks like it's afternoon over. What are we making the debutante? Isaac Ross as he gets a lovely round of applause from the crowd at Owen Delaney Park Topor. It's just good seeing 
the All Black skipper playing Heartland Championship Rugby. I'm sure Bryce Lawrence will be watching. I'll get the text shortly for clarification. Oh, oh and here comes Whanganui again. Hussey looking for another. Horrocks. Josh Lane to straighten. Can't reach out. Horrocks. Hughes. No, they go back to Whale. Away it comes. Vakaronongo. He scores. And just like that, Whanganui go bang, bang. Well, they bring Horrocks to the front. Overthrowing. And away comes King Country through Dion Peterson, who's come on. Smith. They'll look to run. Tipping wants oh. to go wide. Picked off. Oh. Kamali Kurumbaki. Left ball, Sarawalo. Timothy Sarawalo through his opening try. First try of the Heartland Championship as things just get a, a smidge testy. This is all about rugby, and it was a great try, but floodgates have opened in the last little bit. King Country will be concerned. There's still a bit to play yet, but it was a well-taken try. There is Whale to convert. Knocks it over from close range. Well, he's called full-time, has he? Oh, it looks like he's called five minutes early. This is remarkable. Well, <laughs> we do have to say we do not have the normal link to the timekeeping as we would do for the likes of the NPC or the Farrah Palmer Cup. So it is all over. It is done and dusted. And it is Whanganui, who will take five Heartland Championship points and the Sir Colin Meads Memorial Trophy back with them. They have defeated King Country 48-13. But uh, good to see you back playing there. Most of New Zealand were interested in this match. How's the body feeling after that? Yeah, pretty good. Um, yeah, just awesome to be back playing footy. It's been a, been a long wait. And uh, thanks, King Country and, and Wanganui, for having me out here today. It's um, awesome to be involved and, and cool to so, see so many people out and about too. Yeah, not too far from your family home, obviously down here in Taupo, and uh, how did it feel this competition, Heartland Rugby? Yeah, stayed uh, about 25-30 minutes down the road at Mum and Dad's last night, and um, yeah, Dad drove me in and dropped me off, so no, nah, it's, been, it's been awesome, I've played on this ground a, a fair few times as a kid growing up, so no, nah, cool to be back. And I know the boys have a bit of a tradition that they're probably going to try and make you partake in for being the first capper for the Rams, so I hope you do that well, but all the best for the rest of the season, we're all looking forward to seeing you... Uh, on that all-back jersey again and uh, it's just great to see you fit and well so all the best. I appreciate that, thank you.